If you get hold of two magnets and you push them, you can feel this pushing between them. Turn it around the other way and, it, and they slam together. Now, what is it, the feeling between those two magnets? What do you mean, what's the feeling between well, the two th magnets? There's something when you're there, them? isn't there? I mean, that, the sensation is that there's something there when you push these two magnets together. How does a person answer why something happens? For example, Aunt Minnie is in a hospital. Why? Because she slipped, she went out and she slipped on the ice and broke her hip. That satisfies it, people. It satisfies, but it wouldn't satisfy someone who came from another planet and knew nothing about things. At first, you don't understand why, when you break your hip, do you go to the hospital? All that is understood by people. And when you explain a, a why, you have to be in some framework that you allow something to be true. Otherwise, you're perpetually asking why. I'm, I'm not answering your question, but I'm telling you how difficult the why question is. You have to know what it is that you're permitted to understand and allow to be understood and known and what it is you're not. Why two magnets repel? There are many different levels. It depends on whether you're a student of physics or an ordinary person who doesn't know anything or not. If you're somebody who doesn't know anything at all about it, all I can say is that there's a magnetic force that makes them repel and that you're feeling that force. But it's a force which is present all the time and very common and is in a basic force. Of, but in the early level, I just have to, have to tell you that's going to be one of the things you'll just have to take as an element in the world, the existence of magnetic repulsion. I can't explain that attraction in terms of anything else that's familiar to you. So I'm not going to be able to give you an answer to why magnets attract each other, except to tell you that they do. But you've got to stop and think about it to really get the pleasure about the complexity, the inconceivable <laughs> nature of nature.